The ideation phase comes right after the understand phase, in which you have selected a sub-challenge to work on. During the ideation phase, you will come up with lots of new solutions to tackle that challenge and select the best one. This best solution will then be further explored in prototyping and validate. You might come out of the understand phase with already a great idea in mind. And that's good, but it is still useful to go into the ideation process to come up with more ideas. Maybe you find an even better idea, or you can make small changes to your original ID to make it better. Worst case, you, have, you are sure that you have explored all the different options and that you really have the best ID. Ideation can be used in different iterations of the design thinking loop. For example, when you are looking at a challenge and try to understand it better, when you are looking for new products or services that you can offer, when you're thinking about new business models that you can develop, or when you are exploring new markets. You can even use ideation in other phases of the design thinking process. For example, when you're looking for new versions of a prototype and when you're trying to come up with questions that you can ask during interviewing. Ideas can come to your mind at all times and places. For example, when you're in the shower, when you're commuting to work or school, or when you're doing sports. Some people tend to come up with more crazy and wild ideas, whereas others have more simpler ideas and regular ideas. And other people easily can come up with hundreds ID, whereas other people only have three ideas. This is normal, because ideation works like a muscle. The more you use it and the more you do it and train it, the better you will get at it. So if it doesn't go that smoothly from the start, it's not a problem. Just do it more regularly and you will get better at it. A good ideation process consists of four phases. Preparation, ID generation, ID selection and the follow-up. Preparation is key and that is also the case during the ideation process. Think about the right question to ask and to brainstorm about. The right space to use. Make sure that you have plenty of materials such as markers, post-its and pens and that you invite the right people to be around the table. The next step is ID generation or brainstorming. In this phase, we will definitely go for quantity over quality, and it is very important not to judge the ideas yet. One of the biggest mistakes during ideation is that you combine ID generation and ID selection. It is important that you do not judge the ideas yet because you need wild and crazy ideas. And you need these wild and crazy ideas because they will work as stepping stones for further more realistic ideas. They will allow you to think about these more realistic steps, but they still stem from the wild and crazy ideas. It can be very useful to make use of a brainstorming technique. There are lots of free techniques available, such as Lotus Blossom, Brainwriting, Reverse Brainstorm, or superhero brainstorm, but there are also paid tools that you can use and that can support you. The next step is ID selection. When you come out of ID generation, you will have hundreds of IDs, and it's not possible to use them in the following phases and to test them all. That is why we need ID selection. In this phase, it is perfectly okay to judge the IDs and you will need to be able to select bad IDs from good IDs. You can use a selection technique to help you. For example, you can cluster the different IDs into certain topics, or you can rate them. It is really up to you how you will select the IDs and which criteria you will use. Make sure that you keep the interesting IDs and not, not throw them all away. For example, you can throw away the bad IDs quite soon, but there might be some other IDs that are not selected that still can be of use in a later stage. And then finally, we have the follow-up. Nothing feels worse than spending hours on a brainstorm and generating lots of interesting ideas just to find out that nothing has been done with it. Make sure that at the end of the brainstorm and ID generation, you sit together with the team to think about the next steps, define what the next steps are, who is going to take them and what the timing is. Also make sure that you document everything. Make pictures of the ideas that are on the table or write them down.